Residents over in Abaco are getting back to some normalcy after Hurricane Dorian devastated the island, leaving hundreds missing and dozens displaced nine months ago. Just last week, 51 Abaconians, including five children with their belongings, returned home after getting back on their feet, courtesy of Eleuther residents. Area Member of Parliament for North Abaco, the Honorable Darren Henfield, says, even though we're in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic, we must continue to remain resilient. When, you, when you've lost everything, everything moves too slowly. And so it, it's, it looks like you're moving slowly, but when you go back to Abaco, when you look at Abaco, as we all know, the island of Abaco played a critical role in the country's public purse and maintained a steady economic or economy post-Hurricane Dorian. Henfield says while it's difficult to tell when the island's economy will bounce back, he remains optimistic that it will happen in time. But I get calls from like Grand Key and Elbow Key and Manawar Key and Guana Key, where, where people want to return, second homeowners and, and people who normally come and fish with us throughout the year uh, uh, season, on a seasonal basis. It's very difficult to say how soon, but I'm, I'm going to tell you this. This government, led by Hubert Menes, will not stop uh, until we cause Abaco and Grand Bahama, which represents almost 20% of the economy of the Bahamas, to return to that place of prominence which we once held.